Hi, I'm Jason Sullivan of Rathbone Group, and this is On Subrogation, a free video resource to assist you in the investigation and pursuit of your subrogation and recovery claims. This video will focus on three simple pre-suit investigation tips. The first, you might just be annoyed that it's only ask. Go ahead and ask parties or witnesses or anyone who may have information about a claim for anything they might have for it. You'd be amazed what people turn over when you're polite and explain that they would do you a great help if they provided you some information. With everyone having cameras on their cell phones, people taking video of anything that happens, it's very likely that if you ask the right questions, someone may come forward with information or pictures or video of a loss that will help you pursue your claim, at least to investigate and determine what actually happened. If you're looking for information from the government, the second tip is the Freedom of Information Act. This is an act that applies to the federal government and most states have applied a similar law in that citizens, including subrogation companies that are pursuing a claim, have the right to ask for documents and records of their government. When the request is made, the government then must turn over the information. If you're looking for a police report, a fire investigative report, anything else that the government may have compiled regarding a particular incident that may be useful for your claim, you can ask the government for that information. No claim form or special form is necessary in most cases. You just send a letter with a specific request and the government has an obligation to return it. There are a couple of exceptions, such as ongoing investigations where turning over the information may cause harm to the investigation or the ability for the government to proceed on that case. But generally, by the time this file hits the segregation desk, you're going to be able to get past that and ask the government for the information. The third tip is pre-suit discovery. And this is little used, mostly because it's not always that common to be necessary. But if you find yourself in a position where you can identify which party to proceed, or you're having trouble drafting a complaint because you don't have enough information about the parties or the facts involved, you can use pre-suit discovery to get that information. Now, under the federal rules of civil procedure, Rule 27 does allow pre-suit discovery. Now, case law in most of the circuits has held that that is only to perpetuate testimony to preserve it. Parties can't use it as a fishing expedition or try and determine the facts or parties that may be subject to the suit. Rather, they have to already know who it is or what information they need, and then they want to create a record to preserve that testimony. Many states have adopted similar rules to Federal Rule 27, although a lot of states are more expansive in what they'll allow. And in fact, they'll allow the discovery, the pre-suit discovery motion, to be used to investigate a claim, determine what parties or what potential defendants are out there. Texas actually takes a very broad rule, and it has its own statute that allows parties to use pre-suit discovery specifically for the purpose of identifying claims and defendants that they might have. Again, the three pre-suit suggestions we have, because these are all different than the regular discovery that will take place in litigation, are just ask. If you're dealing with the government, use the Freedom of Information Act to get information you may need. And third, consider whether or not pre-suit discovery will be beneficial, especially in cases where you believe a party has information. Take a shop owner who has a camera outside his store, or a homeowner who has some kind of recording doorbell device. Those parties may have video of exactly what you need to see. They're not going to be defendants in your case, but you may be able to avail yourself to pre-suit discovery if they're not voluntarily turning over that information to you. For On Subrogation and Rathbone Group, I'm Jason Sullivan, and that's the long and tort of it.